In this video, we are going to have a look at how to change a subject of a formula or equation, such as the ones on this page. Let's start off with a simple one. The formula for speed is speed equals distance divided by time. So, if you knew that you had travelled at 12 metres per second, and you'd been travelling for 6 seconds, and you wanted to work out how far you'd travelled, we can do this by changing the subject of our original formula. So, to work out the distance travelled, we want to rearrange this formula so we can get it in the form distance equals something involving speed and time. And this is called making distance the subject of the formula. So, to get distance by itself, we need to get rid of the time that's attached to it. At the moment, we're dividing by time, so to move it out of the way, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to multiply by time. If we do this, we're left with speed times time equals distance. We've got distance by itself. So just switching the formula around so that we've got distance on the left, we've now got a formula. Distance equals speed times time. Distance is the subject because it's the one that's by itself. We can put our values of speed and time into that, 12 times 6 the distance travelled was 72 metres. Let's try a slightly trickier formula this time. So here's a formula from physics involving velocity. V equals U plus AT. And we want to make A the subject. We want to get A by itself so that we've got a formula A equals and an expression on the right hand side which doesn't have A in there. Now, in this formula, we've got two other letters with the A. We've got the U and we've got the T. It's a lot easier to get rid of any letters which are making a separate term. So the U is going to be a lot easier to get rid of to start with than the T. So let's remove that first. It's currently a U that's being added. So we're going to do the opposite. We're going to take it away, which will leave us with V minus U equals AT. We're a step closer to having an A by itself, but we've still got that T there. Well, that's A multiplied by T, so to get rid of it we'll do the opposite. We're going to divide both sides by T, which will give us this. We end up with V minus U, all divided by T, equals A. Switching it round so that the A is on the left, A is equal to V minus U, all divided by T. A is now the subject because it's by itself on the left and it doesn't appear at all in the right hand side. Here's another famous formula we're going to have a go at now. The formula E equals mc squared, we want to make C the subject of this formula. So again our aim is to have a formula that is C equals some expression that doesn't have a C in it. Well. Let's get rid of the m first. It's m times by c squared. So if we divide through by m, that will move that over. So we've now got e divided by m is equal to c squared. Now, c is the only letter on that right-hand side, but currently it's being squared. We just want c by itself. So remember, so far, to get rid of everything, we are doing the opposite of what is currently being done. The opposite of squaring is square rooting. So if we square root both sides, we get the square root of e divided by m is equal to c. Rewriting it with c on the left gives us c equals the square root of e divided by m. c is now the subject. One last one now, a little bit trickier. We're going to make x the subject of the equation, 2x minus a equals b, open brackets, x minus 4. So we've got x in two different places of this equation. It's going to make it a little bit trickier, but definitely not impossible. So first thing, just to make everything a little bit easier to deal with, let's get the x out of that bracket on the right hand side by multiplying out. So 2x minus a equals the expanded bx minus 4b. Now, in order to get an equation that just starts with x equals, we want to get all the x's on the left-hand side. Currently, there's a 
bx on the right. So let's take that away from both sides to move it over. We've now got 2x minus a minus bx equals minus 4b. Now if we're going to get x by itself, we don't want that a on the left hand side there. It's currently negative, so if we add it on to both sides, it will move it over. So we've now got 2x minus bx equals a minus 4b. We're a lot closer, x only appears on the left hand side now, but for x to really be the subject, we just need x equals. We need to get rid of that 2 and the b. Now, we can't just divide them away. If we divided by 2, for example, we would have to divide every single term by 2. It just makes it complicated. So, the trick to deal with this is to use our factorization. If we factorize the left-hand side, because they're both multiples of x, we can take that x out to get this. Now we've only got the letter x appearing once in our whole equation. We're a lot closer to making x a subject. We've got x times by 2 minus b equals a minus 4b. Just as before, we're multiplying x by something, so let's divide that through, and there we go. x is equal to a minus 4b, all divided by 2 minus b. x is now the subject of the equation. So remember, all you have to do to change the subject of a formula is just to move your letters and numbers over one by one, being very careful to do everything to both sides at the same time, until you get to a point where your subject is by itself on the left, and the right hand side is an expression that doesn't contain your subject.